Welcome to Conversations with Slava. Today, I'm talking to Norman Solomon. Norman Solomon is the national director of rootsaction.org and the author of many books, including War Made Easy, How Presidents and Pandits Keep Spinning Us to Death. He was a Bernie Sanders delegate from California to a 2016 and 2020 Democratic National Conventions. Moreover, you are the founder and executive director of the Institute for Public Accuracy. First, I would like to address your article, Republican Hypocrisy is No Reason to Support Near Tandon, from February 25th. This is about the question whether Mrs. Tandon is going to become the director of the Office of Management and Budget. You write, on Monday, the Post's editorial board weighed in, proclaiming the newspaper's official position. Yes, Ms. Tandon has been undiplomatic, but hypocritical GOP senators had approved Donald Trump's nominees who were even nastier and the Senate should confirm her. Then you proceed. By then the national media mold was set and countless words quickly put into it. What do you mean by the national media mold and how is it formed? Thank you, Slava. The national media mold, you might say, is a vessel, it's a container that is set up to define the boundaries of discussion. And whether you live in the United States, as I do, or living in other countries, the news media, the newspapers, television, radio, they generally are dominated by economic and political forces through ownership, through advertising and sponsorship, through government domination. And so the, the molding, the uh, container sets the limits of the discussion and what is considered to be appropriate. And even in a country that has democratic aspects, such as the United States, quite often it's a very limited discussion. So you have this boundary, you have this boundary, and then the discussion is limited within those bounds. In the case of the issue that you were describing that I wrote about in recent days, the US news media, the Washington Post, the New York Times, and other major media outlets say that it's a two-sided issue. It's an issue between, on the one hand, do you support this nominee for a very important position, the Office of Management and Budget Director? Do you support her or do you oppose her because she tweeted some very mean and nasty things. And those are the two options. That's the mold that contains. And what I wrote in this article, what we at rootsaction.org are campaigning about is that she has a neoliberal agenda. She has a political orientation that supports the dominance of capital, of big corporations, of rich people to dominate the kind of politics and policies of the government. And so that's where it's so important to have more independent media to, to widen the bounds of discussion. How specifically would um, these interests that you have just mentioned, the interests that shape this national media mold, Jeff Bezos and others, benefit from 
Nira Tandon became an Office of Management and Budget Director. She's a good example of a government official, and there are thousands of them around the world who attain some power by holding a government position. And in the United States system, for instance, you have the director of the Office of Management and Budget who is able to apply regulations and interpret the rules and the laws and the regulatory agency systems to say to the manufacturers, the banks, uh, the credit card companies, the businesses, the huge corporations, uh, this regulation will limit your activities in terms of how you will treat your employees, how you will engage in trust and avoid antitrust regulations, how you're able to keep your financial books and engage in partnerships with other companies. These kind of regulations are open to interpretation and the decisions made by someone in the position that Neera Tandon aspires to, director of the Office of Management and Budget, or the officials in governments around the world, those decisions will often have a huge effect on the profits of large corporations and whether rich people become even more wealthy.